In this video, we focus on the process approach and risk-based thinking competency in the IETF Auditor Guide, and in particular, the auditing of customer concerns. Watch this video to see if the auditor is undertaking an effective audit. Right, the next thing I would like to look at then, uh, in my preparation I had a look at the customer scorecard yes. and I saw that you've had some quality problems on 165263 part number. What I'm looking for is how does that get cascaded to you and then maybe give me a little bit of explanation about that part mm -hmm. and what the problem was and what you're doing to try and fix that problem. Okay. So basically, we are registering all the claims into our system and we have a system where we, once we start up or preparing to, to start up the tool, we have an information, was there any claims from the customer or not? And right, right here we and have the part. part number, yeah. That's correct. And here you see in this column we have an orange yeah. field. It says there was a claim and once we press the comment section, we have all the information okay. what happened there. Right, okay. So, so that, this hasn't just been a single issue, it looks like there's been a number of issues. Uh, not exactly. So the first one is uh, an issue report, and uh, the second and the third comment could be the actions, what oh, okay. we have done and what is planned to be done, what has been discussed and yeah. how we proceed for the further production. Yeah. So have you got a, a that part number that I can just see what the part looks like and it might be easier for you to explain what the problem was. Yes, actually we have it here. This is the part that we are talking about. Okay. So, uh, the problem with this part was that uh, we are milling it and uh, we got a claim from the customer that uh, the central hole was not in the correct position. Okay, yeah. Uh, this was done because we are using uh, the manual fixture for the drilling. Yeah. And every time an operator is installing the part in the fixture, it can get into a different position. Yeah. And are you still doing any of that manual drilling? Not anymore. We installed automatic equipment that is doing the drilling automatically. So the only thing the operator has to do is to supply the parts for the equipment and pack the final parts when they are milled. And is that fully commissioned now? Yes. Yes, right. it is. OK, so we will have a look at that now. Can we go and is that close to here? Yes, it's very close to here. Can we, can we have a quick walk and have a look at that? No problem. Right, let's go. So this is the machine. That okay, we I see, yeah, I see it's not running. Are you planning on running it today? Yes, we are planning to start it in the afternoon chip. Right, okay, yeah, so if we can do that. But maybe now, can you show me the updated PFMEA and control plan? Yep. For particularly this process step? Yes, yes we can. Here we have it, here. Here is the Right, and this MEA. process step, process step, you've added right it 55. Yeah. And what's the highest risk you've identified? Um, misalignment of the hole. Yes. Yeah. And there is the action that we did. Install the automatic equipment for milling the hole. Right. And okay. Yeah. And now we have the occurrence much lower than what we had before. Right. Okay. And the control plan. Have you got the control plan in this pack? Yes. There it is. Right, process step 55 again. So you're doing your setup, uh, one in 50 check by the operator, and then the last off? Yep, and the last so one I'll is So I'll look also. at the records for those uh, yep. in a minute. Have you got the operator instruction yes. for this? Yes, yes we have. There it is. Right, yes, so yeah, first off, one in 50, last off. And furthermore, here. Oh, for the way they remove the parts, okay. Yeah, and 
from quality perspective then, have you had this problem of the misaligned hole? No. Is, has that repeated? No. Uh, since we looked at the data, what we have been looking at the room, there was no additional claim after the one we got and that does, we were yeah. doing manually. And that does match the data that I saw from the customer scorecard, so that's good. Okay. So if we can come back this afternoon uh, and see the machine running, I'd like to also talk to the operator. Sure. Yeah. Sure thing. Okay, we'll come back soon then. Great. So let's summarize. Some of the strengths that the auditor exhibited in this audit where they were following the links from customer scorecards to the management of customer complaints. And not just auditing the customer complaints sat in the office, but auditing the complaints in the work environment related to where the complaint occurred. We saw in this video that as part of the corrective action, the organization was electing to try and implement automization to reduce the risk of human error. One of the trails that maybe the auditor could follow here is notifying the customer of that as a process change. Also, as a result of this change implemented through the customer complaint, the good thing was that the auditor was following up on the update of the PFMEA the update of the control plan and the update of the standardized work as a result of the automization. When the auditor went to the machine, the machine was not running. And again, it was good practice that the auditor asked the process owner when the machine would be running and then was going to plan to go back and review and watch the process actually in action. Let's summarize with the key learning points. A key focus in any IETF 16949 audit should be able to follow up on the actions when performance issues have been identified through the review of customer scorecards or reviewing customer concerns. This should not just be done in the office, but the audit trail should be followed to the relevant process and in auditing customer complaints, reference must be made to see whether there has been a review and update, if necessary, of the relevant quality management system documentation, which can include the PFMEA, can include the control plan, and can include any standardized work.